We've been together for two years. We've been married for almost one. How did we know that we wanted to uh, spend our lives together? I would say uh, it was through a road trip to Chicago, helping one of my best friends move. It was a six hour car ride, and we literally drove together, and six hours seemed like that it was three minutes. And it was just such an amazing time to talk. Well, that trip is when we really fell in love. I joined the Army in 1988, so I joined the Army when I was in high school, and um, my dad was a Vietnam vet, so I, I really wanted to join the Army for, to honor my dad, to serve my country. I was very, very proud. I was deployed in Iraq, and Don't Ask, Don't Tell was still in effect, so there was a chance that I could still be discharged. We didn't know what the future would hold. So we just knew that we really loved each other and we knew that we wanted to be married and we knew that we were legally allowed to be married if we moved to a state that accepted it. When you love somebody and you have to leave them, it's the hardest thing in the world to do. And I think that both times that I had to leave Josh, I mean, one time we had to hide under an escalator and say goodbye so people couldn't see us saying goodbye. And um, that was really, really hard. And then when I had to leave again, it, it was just, I mean, I can't even tell you how hard it is to, to know that you're going back. But the thing is, is that going back, you know, I mean, this ring meant so much to me and it was just such a special thing and it was like I was taking something back with me of him or part of what was ours together and that made it easier. I'm not going to take this off for anybody. Twice we've been on Skype and a mortar went off. And you know, it's, it's basically like there was a loud explosion and he said, I have to go. That was a mortar. I got to go. And both times there was a long pause where we didn't talk, hours, hours on end. You don't get to be the first one to know that something happened. You may not find out for weeks that it happened. And, and that was tough. So that was the reality. Those, those calls were two of the hardest moments of my life. When it was real for me is that when, when we were deployed, one of our soldiers, his dad passed away during the deployment. So they had to get an emergency leave and send him home right away to, to be able to attend his dad's funeral. And it hit me really hard because it's only immediate family members that you can go home to do that with. And um, the military calls this my friend. He, they'll only basically say Josh is a friend of mine, not that he's my husband or anything different. So if something would have happened to him while I was gone, then there could be a chance that I wouldn't have been able to go home to bury him because he's just a friend.